Hey guys, it's Chris from Steed and today we're going to go over all the different driving modes from normal to drag for your 2018 plus Mustang. We'll also cover using the paddle shifters for those who have automatic transmission equipped cars. So let's hop in the car and get to it. One of the best parts about the 2018 plus Mustangs is the digital gauge cluster. It's one of my favorite parts about this 2018 GT and it just really brings the driving experience right there front and center to the driver. You have all kinds of different ways to customize it, make it your own. If you haven't checked it out already, we do have a video going over the analog versus digital gauge cluster on our channel, so go ahead and check that out. But meanwhile, let's start going over these driving modes. So whenever you first start the car up, it'll start up in normal mode. This particular car um, has the 10R80 automatic transmission, the performance package, and it's Magnaride equipped. <clears throat> so that means whenever you're changing the driving modes, it's going to adapt the Magna Ride as well as the exhaust to that particular driving mode. So as you see, when the car is in normal mode, it's going to shift as comfortably as possible. That goes for the suspension and actually shifting through the gears. If you're taking off normally from a stoplight, it's gonna go one, three, five, six, seven. Again, just kind of moseying through the gears, making it as comfortable as possible. For a lot of people out there that don't like messing with the driving modes and they wanna do some spirited driving and they try to do it in normal mode, especially with an automatic transmission, it's gonna be searching for gears, trying to find which one's best for you because you're not in the right driving mode. Educating yourself before you make this before you make the investment <clears throat> in a car with these driving modes will make the driving experience so much better once you get on that fun back road and you really want to push the car a little bit or out on autocross or what have you you'll be able to have the car in the right driving mode for that particular setting so again magna ride super comfortable rides like a cadillac uh, in normal mode so reaching down to the uh, center column switching the driving mode to Sport Plus, the exhaust valve opens a little bit. For normal, the exhaust valve is just open just a hair and stays that way throughout the entire rev range. But in Sport Plus mode, um, the uh, trash controls a little bit stiff or a little bit uh, heightened, um, so is stability control. And the uh, Magna Ride gets a little bit stiffer. You can feel the joints in the road a little bit more. Uh, the ride's a little bit stiffer because as you're pushing it, um, you know, you want to have that feedback and have that confidence that the car can handle the turn that, you know, you're thrown at it when you're in that spirited driving mode. In terms of active exhaust, with Sport Plus, you'll actually uh, have the exhaust opened a little bit more on the inside tip on that butterfly valve. And as, uh, as the throttle position changes, as you go through the rev range, the active exhaust actually opens up more and more and more, but then when you take your foot off the gas, it'll back, close back again. So it's actually adapting to the throttle position of, of your right foot. Sport Plus is one of my favorite modes to drive around in. It, uh, it kind of heightens all the, all the senses you get when you're driving. Um, if you're cruising down the highway, if you're on a long road trip, normal is definitely the most comfortable, no doubt. But in Sport Plus, if you're cruising around town, lots of stoplights, um, you know, it kind of aggressively downshifts a little bit, whereas normal, as you come to a stop, it just kind of, you know, downshifts as you normally would any other automatic car. But for the 10R80 equipped cars, um, Sport Plus, Track, those, uh, those driving modes will downshift as you're coming to a stop, as you would if you had a manual transmission. It's pretty cool stuff. Sport Plus will actually go through the gears normally. your foot off the gas if you don't touch the brake it'll actually hold that gear and kind of decelerate which again is a really cool feature um, if you are pushing the car on back roads um, and you are holding that gear it kind of knows to stay in that gear as you're you know about to uh, decelerate coming into the next turn now moving everything up to track mode you're really only supposed to use this off-road use only um, this 
really takes that magnified, stiffens it up quite a bit. Um, compliments the Stita Sport Magnarized Springs, awesome. Um, as they're progressive, you know, as you lean into it, Magnarides nice and stiff, and uh, the progressive rate on the springs will stiffen up as you're uh, leaning into that turn. In terms of the exhaust, that valve is wide open, stays open the entire time, so it's the loudest setting. Um, you know, that's why I say it's for all for abuse only. It does say traction control is off because it's off. Um, it's going to give you the heightened sense of, uh, you know, stability control still might interfere if you, you know, you really are at the limit, but, um, you know, track mode is, is made for the track. It's made for, you know, this is the mode that I use when I'm doing autocross and stuff like that. Um, if I'm out on doing spirited driving and stuff like that, I don't use track mode. I'm actually uh, Sport Plus, you know, when I was up in North Georgia or Tail the Dragon or a lot of those fun roads out there um, that you are going to be pushing a little bit. Uh, you definitely want to use Sport Plus as it's going to save you um, if you're going to be, you know, pushing it a little too hard. But what I found is a Sport Plus actually downshifts the most aggressively um, when you're in traffic at, you know, uh, coming from stoplight to stoplight. Um, again, I probably think that's uh, because Ford thinks that most people will be driving in Sport Plus mode. So they'll, uh, yeah, it, it makes it more aggressive, especially if you have an aftermarket exhaust on there, you know, our H-pipe with a Steeda axle back or what have you. Um, it's going to sound pretty cool popping and crackling and all that sort of stuff. So again, it just goes through the gears. The shifting in the transmission is a little bit stiffer. I'm going to pop in Sport Plus mode, give it a little bit of gas and see if I can show that exhaust valve opening as throttle position is increased. whenever you get on the brake pedal and as you decel it's gonna hold that gear all the way down now in terms of paddle shifters that's something um, you can use in any particular driving mode normal sport plus track drag strip either uh, doesn't matter what driving mode um, the thing is, uh, a lot of people need to remember, is if you start tapping uh, the paddle shifters on the steering wheel, whether you're, you know, if the gear selector is in drive, it's going to do what you ask it to do. It'll downshift. It'll do exactly what you ask it to do, but it's going to time out. It will eventually upshift and drop your uh, paddle shifter selections off of the uh, gauge cluster and puts you back in the gear that it thinks you should be in. And again, Sport Plus aggressively downshifting as you're coming to a stop. Again, it's a lot of fun when you're driving around town. So one thing to point out is if you wanted to hold the gear and use the paddle shifters completely in manual mode per se, um, you have to put the gear selector in Sport. Um, that will allow you to retain the gear selection you choose. I prefer to use this again when I'm, you know, spirited back road. I'll keep it in Sport Plus and I'll control the gears myself. Ford's algorithm for choosing the shift tables and that sorts of stuff. Um, depending on what you're what you're doing with the car is excellent no doubt um, but it isn't a mind reader so again sometimes I like to choose the gears myself but it, but putting the gear selector in sport will allow you to retain that gear and it does not time out now if you're in normal driving mode and you uh, have the gear selector on sport it'll say you're in regular sport mode the difference between sport and sport plus is that the trash control and stability control still remain in regular normal uh, driving mode per se um, where sport plus heightens those uh, 
those parameters a bit um, and allows you to get a little bit more sideways or a little bit more uh, lean yaw uh, in the accelerometer before it interferes uh, with you, whether it's ABS or a throttle input or what have you. Shift and Sport Plus as you're coming up to a stop, all based on the brake input you're giving the car. So if you're nice and slow coming to a stop, it may not downshift as aggressively, but it's trying to anticipate you wanting to give it gas in the next corner. We'll go over snow and wet mode as well. Um, there isn't really much to talk about here. Uh, essentially, if you're in bad weather, um, if you live up north and you get snow and you plan on driving your Mustang, you know, get caught in a snowstorm or whatever, you daily drive your car out in the snow and have all-season tires, um, you, uh, you get caught in the rain, basically puts a pillow in between you and the gas pedal, um, really decreases the throttle sensitivity, unlike Sport Plus and Track, which actually increase it from normal. Um, for snow and wet, you know, it does change the stability control, um, traction control, all that sort of stuff, and actually adds a layer of uh, safety there. Um, it is nice if you're really caught in a downpour. Um, kind of gives you that extra layer of protection to pop it in that driving mode um, if you're, uh, you know, nervous about <laughs> driving your sports car uh, in the driving your sports car in the uh, in the rain like that. But that driving mode's no fun, so we're gonna pop it back in sport. You hear the exhaust get a little bit louder. Ten R80, the shifts are a little bit stiffer in Sport Plus and Track. Now the last one we're gonna talk about is drag mode. Um, I'll be honest, in this car, I really don't have much business talking about drag mode. Don't really take it to the drag strip that much. I have a couple times. It's fun, um, but uh, it doesn't hold a candle to the silver bullet. And again, keep in mind that this car is uh, completely stock tuned. Um, so if you get a tune from like from Steedo or Lun Racing um, or SCT, even you will. Uh, some of these shift points will change. Some how the car behaves in these driving modes can change because these tuners have the ability to um, to change how the cars behave if it's in drag mode or uh, normal mode or sport mode or what have you. So switching the car to drag mode super easy. Obviously, just uh, that toggle switch for driving mode in the bottom there, and a couple things changed about the car. Um, it will tell you that traction control is actually on. Uh, the reason for that is because it is trying to make sure it gains as much traction as possible um, when you're coming off the line. Obviously, you don't want traction control completely off uh, because it's going to put you into the guardrail, right? Um, so you get your drag strip, local drag strip. Got the car in drag mode. If you have Magnaride on your particular car, you can expect for the Magnaride to react by allowing for the most weight transfer from front to rear, right? So the front struts for the Magna Ride are going to loosen up, allow for that, that rebound to push the weight of the car towards the back wheels. Obviously, you want as much weight over those rear tires as possible to gain as much traction as possible. Um, in terms of shift points, they're pretty hard. Definitely pretty hard, no doubt. Um, you're going to feel the car jolt. Um, it's almost uh, almost like a power shift if you uh, if you've power shifted a manual car before it's pretty darn close especially if you have a tune on the car outside of that the exhaust mode um, it's completely open track uh, track exhaust um, for the most airflow possible allowing for the most power um, so I'll give it a little bit of pull here it's not gonna be anything crazy it wouldn't surprise me even with these 315 nittos in the back, traction control still might come on in between shifts. Again, it's pretty normal. Um, I don't have slicks on here or, or drag radials even, so we'll see what she's got. Hawk 
brake pads coming in clutch. Try it again one more time, because let's be honest, that's addictive, no doubt. You also have the ability to do this with your paddle shifters. Uh, Ford doesn't really recommend it. You can if you want. Um, I'll be honest, I've tried it both ways. You're gonna get the best shifts by letting the automatic transmission, letting the computer do the work for you. It knows when to shift, it knows when not to shift, it knows, has all those shift points mapped out. And again, if you have the tune, it's probably optimized even better. I'll give another shot here. Lean into it. Drag mode's fun in this car. I'll be honest, I've always been a manual transmission guy. Um, the next Mustang probably will have a manual transmission. But uh, the 10 R80, man, this thing freaking hauls in a straight line. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to uh, hopefully get our hands on a Mach 1 with the new 10 R80, um, revised 10 R80, I should say, upgraded, and uh, see what it can do because uh, I have no doubt that if this car in stock trim, Evan Smith took it to an 11.8 in the quarter mile with the Mach 1 and another 20 horsepower. Uh, would not surprise me if uh, it's an 11.5 or 11.6, and that's pretty darn quick for a uh, you know, $40,000 or $50,000 American sports car. All right, one thing I wanna go over is my mode. Uh, so I'll show you, the way I have my mode set up in my car now is uh, the driving mode is Sport Plus, but the exhaust is track. Um, again, driving around town, like to be heard, I'm in a Mustang. Um, so, uh, yeah, I want that exhaust nice and loud. Who doesn't? To edit my mode, you hit the pony button on the steering wheel. You see my mode's the first thing that pops up on that particular menu. You show status. And uh, anyways, this is the menu, or the screen per se, where you can select what you want your my mode to be. Um, it allows you to have a different combination of uh, your driving mode and your exhaust mode and uh, your steering mode, um, all in different ones. So let's say I want track, track mode for my mode, but I don't know why you would want to do this, but the exhaust mode, I want it to be quiet in track mode. So this particular combination allows me to have track mode as the driving mode but keep the exhaust in quiet so I don't have to go into track mode and then put my exhaust quiet every time I wanted it to be this particular combination I could just save it as my mode it saves and then every time you toggle through the settings or right, we'll have to go back Every time you toggle through the settings, you got normal and my mode. It's gonna show you track mode, but the exhaust is gonna be quiet. It's pretty cool, allows you to customize. Just another way you can customize this layout and the car to your particular liking. So one of the things I absolutely love about having these driving modes um, and the paddle shifters and all that sort of stuff, I'm a manual transmission guy at heart, don't get me wrong, but in terms of the advanced technology that comes with the 10R80 automatic transmission, these paddle shifters, it's pretty darn impressive that this car hauls as quick as it does in a straight line. And having these paddle shifters allow you to um, have almost as much fun with that, you know, as much fun as you possibly can without a clutch. We'll pop this thing in Sport Plus mode and do the paddle shifters. Again, carving those mountain roads to be able to do what you want to do. You know, you're coming up to a turn. Keep it in the right gear. point in Sport Plus where traction control interfered. You saw the light come on, 
car kicked out just a hair and it, it, it saved me from getting too sideways. And again, it's absolutely awesome that it allows you to have a little bit more fun at the limit in Sport Plus, but uh, not too much where you get yourself in trouble. And putting it in track mode will allow you to do that even more. Well, hopefully you learned something about all of these different driving modes, the exhaust modes for those with active exhaust, Magna Ride and how it coordinates with the driving modes and changes the overall experience behind the wheel. Ford has done an awesome job at really just adding all of these different attributes to customize your driving experience. If you want to see more cool Ford and Mustang content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here at Steeda. And if you're looking for your next set of Mustang parts or wheels, tires, performance upgrades, you name it, go ahead and visit us at Steeda.com. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.